Lesson 9-6, factoring complex trinomials. This is challenging. Follow the steps. Make sure you're good at the original ones and use this. Lots of different ways to do this. I've seen it with a box. I've seen guess and check saying, well, what multiplies to 2? So that should be 2x. What multiplies to 3? Well, that's 3 and that's 1. And negative plus, no, wait, plus and negative. I've seen all sorts of things. The way I work, do it works every time and I highly recommend it but it is entirely up to you. So multiply the two end numbers, that's two and three. Two times three equals six. Find all the possible combinations that multiply to that number. Well, you just had two and three, but we'll go through them. Six, one, three, two, and this time, I put them all, whether they are bigger or smaller. Can take some time. Now, Let me write the equation. So we can see it. If it is plus plus or plus or minus plus, add together. And the way to remember that it's always the plus at the end. So this add. Which one of these add up to negative 7x? And the answer is both of them do. So you can use either one. And some people like using one, some people like using the other. Now, they've got to add up to negative 7x. So you're going to go with negative 6x plus negative 1x. And that's all you're doing is rewriting the middle for this step. Now you're going to do something called factoring by grouping. Take this piece here and pull out a common factor. 2's in both of them, x in both of them. Leaves me an x minus 3. Don't know what I just did? Just look at it. These pieces, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. So I just factored the first two pieces. Now I'm going to do it again. Plus, what's in both of these? A negative 1. Negative 1 here leaves x. Negative 1 here leaves negative 3. This is very confusing to people. Told you it was hard. Negative 1 times x. Negative 1 x. Negative 1 times negative 3. Positive 3. Always go back early on and double check everything. Now, this is magic to a lot of people. You're factoring out the x minus 3. So you're pulling out an x minus 3. And everything that's left comes down. And that's it. You factored. 2x minus 1, x minus 3. Check it when you're done. Two x squared minus six x minus x plus 3, 2x squared, minus 7x, plus 3, checks. That's it. This is all the rules I just went through. So we're going to try one. Notice is the minus now, right? here so things will be a slightly different but 3 times 5 equals 15 15 times 1 5 times 3 3 times 5 1 times 15 you really don't need these but i have people who tell me they would prefer it so i'm going to leave it if that makes no sense to you fine you don't need them rewrite the middle term it's a minus so which one of these subtracts 15 3x squared minus 5. Rewrite the middle. Plus 15x minus 1x. That's it. Now take the first two terms. There's a 3x in there. Leaves me an x plus 5. Second two terms, there's a minus 1. Leaves me an x plus 5. Rewrite. 3x minus 1 x plus 5. Complicated.
Try on your own. Pause the tape. I'm just going to do it quick. comment you know you've done the factoring by grouping correctly if you get the same numbers inside if you don't have the same numbers inside the parentheses you've done something wrong check with the teacher and get some help try this one on your own if you can That's it. Now, get a negative out front. I've seen people try and handle this. Don't. Get rid of it. We can divide by a negative 1 and rewrite. Trying to do it with the negative out front is very challenging. I don't recommend it at all. So try these two on your own. Remember that you're just going to divide out by a negative 1. And I'll just roll through them in a minute. That's it. Lots of practice. Good luck.